What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the World's TV YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow so you don't miss out on any of this brand spanking new content moving forward. So she called him broke because he didn't want to pay $250,000 for a wedding. I'm so sick and tired of these fucking quote unquote reality TV shows when one, they're not real. There's just a whole bunch of people playing a character just to get a fucking viewership of an audience. Secondly, any female who called their man broke because he doesn't want to spend a quarter of a million dollars on a fucking three hour wedding is retarded is stupid and clearly lacks severe financial intelligence and is a meal ticket she's just using that man for money okay she's a gold digger point blank simple there's there's no math or science or biology to it she it's always be the loudest you notice that the the, the people who always talk about money are always the ones who are broke if you are that loud calling other people broke and you checked her account she probably broke herself so we're gonna react to this video enough of me talking let's see what she gonna say and how she gonna say to her man that don't want to spend a, a fucking quarter of a million dollars on a fucking wedding you deserve to be somebody's wife two hundred and fifty thousand dollars two hundred thousand the type of she looked like a gold digger i don't even know why he with her hold on let, let's go back let's go back this this female she looked like a gold digger and listen i'm not here being no misogynist blah blah cut that shit out i got a woman myself and i make her happy but you could tell the long crusty nails the long ass weave exposed cleavage got her lips done she probably got a bbl eyebrows all done the eyebrows not even even yo that is a gold digger from one-on-one i could spot him from a mile away hmm. to be somebody's wife Yes, you deserve to be somebody's wife, but ain't nobody paying two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a fucking wedding. You ain't a two hundred fifty thousand dollar wife. Thousand dollars, two hundred thousand. The type of wedding you want, that's how much it costs. Uh huh. You're bugging the. F up. We gonna invest also, that. Exactly. My also, did anybody? He kind of looked like Pop Smoke. Like he had the Pop Smoke hair. Is it just me? Of course. Uh huh. You're bugging the. F up. We gonna invest that. My job as a man is to hold the household down and she hasn't worked in years and she hasn't worked bro why the fuck are you with this bitch she hasn't contributed nothing financially to you and the relationship why are you with her she's a clear broke gold digger bro she is a broke bitch gold digger i can't stand shit like this like bro why are you with a woman man that, that don't want to work so clearly if you guys get together you guys get married she's going to already have expectation for you to pay all the bills she not gonna go no 50 50 or no 60 40 on you she's expecting you to cover all the bills while she continue will, while she will continue to not work why are you with her you're not dating a woman you dating a daughter that's a child to you that's not an investment that is a bill i'm telling guys this the number one investment a man will make in his life is his woman that is the number one most important investment outside of himself when you find a woman who has the same goals aspirations and agenda as you who's thinking yo we got to get money together let's save let's have kids let's do this and that let's try to let's continue to pursue our purpose and build an empire together that is somebody that's not only a you're gonna have a lot of success with but that's going to push you to greater heights and you guys are gonna push each other and bring out the absolute best in each other this woman she's just gonna fucking she use she looking at this man as an atm she ain't work and she wants you to spend 250 racks on a fucking wedding and i bet you she ain't gonna want to contribute nothing to that wedding financially man Man, break up with this bitch already. I ain't want to watch the rest of this video. Come I'm on. not spending a quarter million Hell dollars no. on a wedding. I'm not doing it. So, I'm how, so, you. So, so you have no plans on getting married. You see, this is, how she, this is how women like her trying to feel it. Flip it. So you have no plans of getting married. No, I didn't say that. I'm not spending $250,000 on a wedding. Why don't you 
spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars on a wedding since you want it so bad go get the money out your account and spend it i'm willing to marry you but i'm not putting that price tag on no wedding and they always want to flip so you don't want to do this so you don't want to do that women are the most evil manipulative creatures on the fucking planet don't fall for that bullshit yes let's go to city hall i'm not a city hall bitch uh-oh stop saying city hall because is about to get left like i'm telling you right now at the end of the day i love bro she said shit's about to get left you should have been left her ass the minute she said that i was like bye whatever we got going on is done because clearly your intentions are not about building a strong lasting relationship your intentions are about being a gold digger and using me for my money because you a don't want to work you haven't gotten a job in a, in a couple years like he said and you have no financial literacy whatsoever i don't even think she knows how to make two hundred fifty thousand dollars yet she wants to spend it on spend it on an event that's going to last about two to three hours get that bullshit out of here bro of you more than life itself but you she not gotta listening. be easy with all this she's not listening enough. To how long are you planning on being broke i don't like we're broke out your mouth you that's not it broke like that's, that's smart broke people behavior that's smart all right listen you call it broke you know what i'm just saying leave and see what your ass gonna be mm. exactly that's a perfect response you want to call me broke leave me and see what your ass gonna be i bet like i said the loudest people who talk about money are the most brokest people if you always got to talk about money and spending somebody else's money or doing this you ain't got money yourself you notice the rich people the billionaires don't talk about their money jay-z when the last time you hear him flaunt his money like that talk about money elon musk Who's worth what? 120 something billion dollars. When the last time you hear him talk about money like that? Mark Zuckerberg. When you last time you hear him talk about money like that? Jeff Bezos. When the last time you hear him talk about money like that? These are fucking billionaires. Not millionaires. Billionaires with a capital B. They don't need to flaunt their money because they know what they do with their money is they make more of it. And they don't need to flaunt that shit. They don't need to flaunt it or talk about it excessively because a they got it and b they are smart and what they do with it to get even more she has no type of financial literacy she is a meal ticket she is a gold digger she is lazy she doesn't want to work why in the fuck would you as that man want to marry somebody who doesn't have no motivation for themselves they are going to drain you of not just your money but your time and your energy brother please leave that bitch and go find a new woman period it's not that hard it's not that hard i don't even want to see what she got to say thank god the video ended bruh fellas stay away from women like this stay away from women like this i'm tired of all of of, of our gender of our of our community having these conversations about money 50 50 100 blah 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 listen you're in a relationship you got to put in your effort they got to put in their effort because guess what if you want the man to pay all the bills then go be by yourself because you're going to be paying 100 percent of bills by yourself then but you're going to be lonely you're not going to have no companion you're not going to have nobody push you to be greater you're not going to have no person in that big home or whatever place that you're going to get loneliness is one of the number one signs of depression and when people get depressed they commit suicide so keep thinking that logic especially in the tough financial economic times that we in you can't be over here having no type of financial literacy having no type of a uh, 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 future wanting a man to do everything and you got nothing to you come on man we we we, we need to there's bigger and more important things that are going out there in the world stop all this bullshit she does she wants you to spend a quarter mil on a wedding you just leave find another woman period let me know what you guys think about this video do you agree disagree with what i said do you agree or disagree with what she said or what he said leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel follow us on all our social media platforms as i said we are now also on rumble and on true social at worlds tv and go check out my new podcast at no limits pod on rumble twitter true social and we are now on spotify check that out i'll catch you guys later man Peace.